As far as the electrical stuff in a flooded house goes, it, it depends on where the water got to. Well, we can look at this here. You can actually see the high water mark in this house. It was flooded up to right about this level right here. So we know anything that was below that flooded mark has to absolutely be replaced. You can see all the, uh, the dirt and garbage that was inside of that. These electrical outlets are going to have to be replaced. The wiring that was below this is going to have to be pulled out and replaced. Some wiring is going to be able to be salvaged, but we don't know how far that water had wicked up through this wiring. So what's going to have to happen is you're going to have to have a qualified and certified electrician come in and replace that wiring in a flooded house. As far as this light, obviously it was above, you know, light fixtures that were above the, uh, the levels of the flood water. That's up for the electrician to determine that. The process for getting the electrical service returned back to a house depends on the specific area. So you may want to check with your, uh, your local electrical company to find out exactly what it is. But generally what's going to happen is you're going to go into the house and you're going to determine the, uh, what's been flood damaged and that's going to have to be replaced. The power company is going to disconnect the power. As we can see here, the meter has been pulled. And then you're going to have to go in and anything that's been submerged in flood water is going to have to be replaced and or refurbished. Here we can see the flood is actually, the flood water is actually up here. So on this house, there's going to be a lot of electrical work that needs to be done. All receptacles have to be replaced, all outlets have to be replaced, and most likely the wiring that's been submerged is also going to have to be replaced by a qualified electrician, a certified qualified electrician. Some areas will allow self-wiring where the homeowner will do the wire themselves, but in order to do that, you'll have to um, have a permit that shows that you know how to do that properly and safely. After that, you'll have a certified electrician come in and they will offer a certificate saying the house has been rewired properly. They'll contact the electrical inspector, come in, do an inspection of the house, and verify that yes, it's been done rewired properly and being refurbished properly. They'll contact the power company and let them know that it's, uh, it's okay to energize the house and the power company will come in and turn power back on for the house. Some utility companies in flood situations will actually come in and hook up a supplemental meter and give you just at least a couple of outlets to use in the flood cleanup process before they will actually come in and hook up the full house to power.